What's up, Dogon player? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Blaze. Today we are back with another Dogon battle video. And today, before we start the video, of course, hopefully you guys are having a very good day today. And today we are gonna go ahead and do, of course, number 63 or 53 here for Super Bad Road here for the no item run. And we have your the siblings bond category. Now this one now was actually pretty easy, I would say. Um and this was actually technically on my second try, I want to say, because on my first try, I got very unlucky. And the reason why is because I got very greedy here with the tech orbs, because um, the androids did rainbow orb change, but I had to put them in the second spot to actually get all those tech key spheres in, the, in my first run, but fortunately it didn't happen here, so I got supered. So, um, this one here is actually pretty simple, like I said before. Uh, the Simply's Bond category is a very strong category. And, again, as long as you have, I mean, LR Tapion Minosha are just so crazy with their leader scope because again uh do keep in mind that they're also providing support to the entire category um and also they link up very well with the easy a angel tapion so as you guys can see here easy a tapion is just a god in this event here when he's actually paired up with the lr version and the reason why is because uh, he has 50 percent damage reduction and he also lowers attack here now this mode here is actually pretty difficult i would say um, in terms of damage because it actually kind of shocked me how much damage they actually do on normals where you are taking like over 100k per normal which is actually very shocking right but um again the androids are just way too powerful for the stage here uh it is unfortunate i mean you can kind of maybe run like a double lead of them but i mean it's you don't have enough units to actually um get their full leader skill here right so again we actually kind of gamble with this and you see here that we do have support with the both androids on rotation with links um, Gohan is not supporting here, but he is here with damage reduction and also support. But we take 100k, and we actually lower the attack of Goku, by the way. Um, with, I, I mean, like, yeah, we actually lower the attack here with the LR version. I thought for a second we actually double super there, but, um, yeah, we actually lower the attack of Goku, and we're still taking 100k, um, before the Android, of course, super attack, but so that is ridiculous, right? So, again, this stage is pretty simple. I mean, I, I feel like most free-to-play players are going to get this done. Especially if you also have your the Tech Ultimate Gohan. Uh, tech Ultimate Gohan can definitely carry you into this event here. And the Androids are just way too strong. Even the free play LRs are like a must run here. Um, now you can also run here a double uh, Android Lee category. Because you have enough Androids who are part of the Siblings Bond category. And they will definitely actually help you beat the event here. So again, this is another like um, showcase where I actually decided to put the LR tape and Minosha in the front. Um, just because in the end, we over, we have your like probably 200k of defense, um, and Krillin is also sealed here, but that was probably a mistake, and the reason why you see it is that we take 44k from a normal. Now, it's, it's better than 100k, but 44k actually caught me by surprise. So, again, this was like probably my like second try because, or third try, because my second try I couldn't find a good friend leader, so I had to like get back out. But, uh, yeah, this was my, basically my second try here, and, um... Yeah, this is pretty easy, I would say. This is definitely easier than the Planet Namek Saga category. That one was pretty tough to actually know how to run, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it'd be way more easier than expected, but Siblings Bond is just way more easier. Uh, I'm probably gonna go ahead and actually maybe do another attempt here, no item runs without the tech androids, because I feel like a lot of players probably did not pull them. So I probably will do the same exact same team build, but I'll just replace the android with, with more hybrid saints here. Um, so yeah, so here we go. Of course, here we have here the um, androids, right? So in this case here, we have most attacks in the front. Of course, I'm going to use the free Ghost Usher, so we can actually have your tape on Minosha at the back, uh, not be in any danger. But also because here, um, what's his face here? The um, oh my god, I forgot his face here. The end unit here, the end enemy. I forgot his name here. Is it Master Shu? I keep forgetting here. But anyways. Um, He's actually going to be here type advantage for the androids, so I want to make sure that they're not going to take any normal attacks uh, either because uh, they will take some damage here, especially with all the orbs that didn't fall the way they were supposed to. Um, you know, we're not able to get that many tech key spheres, but I also want to give all these AGL key spheres to the androids so we can actually heal up here. Um, then there goes Tepion Monosha, so we can actually keep lowering the attack here for... Um, what's his face here for Tien? Now, Tien's pretty scary with a super attack. Uh, I'm kind of praying, hoping that we actually get supered in the middle. And the reason why is because um, LR Tape and Minosha, even though they get their damage reduction after they super attack, because we have no links activated and no support besides themselves, uh, we are going to eat that super attack quite a lot, even if we keep blowing the attack here um, on TN, which is pretty crazy. Like, these guys do hit pretty hard here. 
So there goes the Androids 5.1, by the way. Uh, they are fully rainbowed, fully max level 10 links, and they are so disgusting, right? Um, so we actually we actually get Super Gear, which is actually really nice and lucky, because we only take her 119k, um, which is pretty shocking. I thought we would take like maybe 50k, but 100k, you know, it's better than LR Tape and Monosha being Super Gear, right? Um, so even with the damage reduction and we lower the attack of TN, we're taking 20k per normal. Uh, this mode, again, is pretty challenging, I would say, right? If you don't have, like, a... I mean, it's not challenging, but it hits really hard. It's, like, a lot more than expected. So now we actually have the transformation for, of course, Tapion. And Tapion's transformation is actually really nice here because the reason why is that we're taking no damage, but also these enemies don't have a lot of HP. So when we're actually doing super attack to these characters... We're actually very, it's actually very easy to take them out quickly. Um, so I think I actually, we take out Tien and then we take out also uh, Chao Tzu on the same turn here. If you actually get double supers. So there we go, 1.6 again, Tapion. He's also really good in movie boss extreme super bad road. Uh, he was like my key to actually beating the event here because of the transformation. But yeah, there we go. You can see here that we are taking out Tien very quickly. Chao Tzu is done for. Um, double super again. Do we get a crit as well? Let's see if we actually get a crit. We don't get a crit, but look at that. Chao Tzu is almost done. We still have one more turn with the Harutagon. Um, so basically, all we have is one enemy. So again, this was pretty simple. Um, and on this rotation as well, once we actually get back uh, to the non-transformed state, um, whatchamacallit, we do have your Gohan from the World Tournament, who does has 58% damage reduction, but also a support diamond for the super class. So we're pretty much in the safe zone as well. But the only reason why I also want to bring here, of course, here the Gohan is because Gohan also has here, uh, what you will call it, um, what you will call it here, uh, does have a medium chance to actually stun the enemy for two turns. So that's why I want to bring because in Super Bad Road, you do want to bring characters that do have like a chance to stun the enemy. Now we got pretty lucky again, where we actually get a third turn for a transformation. So now we're kind of able to kind of set up our orbs for the next phase. But also do a little bit of damage here to, um, is it, I forgot his name here, what the hell is his name? It's not Tao, because that's Mercenary Tao. Oh, god damn it, man, this is going to haunt me forever. Um, whatever, we'll just call him the Int Unit here, right? So again, this is like, you know, as far as time, this this take a little bit of time here with the Tapion, but I mean, we are, you know, taking no damage, and also on top of that, we are doing uh, extra damage to the opponent. Now, luckily, we actually got super on this phase here, which is pretty good. So now, we really don't have to worry about anything too much um, as far as this character super attacking again, right? So, at this phase here, uh, I am going to put here, of course, Tapion in the front. And the reason why is because we can actually get those STR orbs. And now we're able to get an 18 key super and also heal up as well. But again, we also have support from Gohan, so I'm not even worried too much um, for this phase here. So... There goes Tapion. Again, Tapion is going to lower the attack as well. Uh, 1.6. And these guys are very squishy. They actually don't have that much HP. So, um, again, you don't have to really worry about attack stat. Because you can see your characters with 3.2. Two minute attacks that are actually able to do a lot of damage to the opponent. So now we actually come here to the last phase. And we actually got a very good turn here. And the reason why is because we actually have a full Android um, rotation. And it's actually pretty good about that is that um, we actually have here the, the, the spread of the attacks are actually pretty good here. So we can see here, of course, we have to put the tech androids in the front, just in case we actually get supered. And most of the attacks in the front are going to be AGL Gohan, right? So I was pretty confident that he was going to super attack in the front here. So I decided to go and actually seal Piccolo with the androids. And then I actually decided here to put, of course, here the, um, the free-to-play EZA Android 18 in the middle. Just because we are type advantage and she could actually she actually does lower attack on super attack but also she can actually triple super which would also lower Piccolo's attacks up by quite a lot and of course we have the androids at the back the lr free to play androids to go for goku uh just to lower his attack even more as well right so again as long as we don't get supered either slot number three actually we're pretty much good to go right so we actually do get super in the front which is pretty lucky so of course the androids are going to nullify that which is completely broken. And then, of course, here we have your Go, I mean, Kid Gohan do like no damage whatsoever. So, of course, we're gonna seal up Piccolo before, I mean, after he super attacks, which is like kind of a bummer here, but that's fine. But now we're actually in a risk right here because if we actually get supered at the back by Kid Gohan, I am pretty confident that we are gonna die here. 
Uh, cause these super attacks do hit quite, quite hard, right? So, uh, again, as long as we don't get super, we pretty much have it in the bag. We pretty much win here because Pickles right neutralized. And then look at this, this free to play Android 18. I give her a full additional and she triple supers. By the way, she's also increasing defense, but she's also lowering the attack of Piccolo. So there we go, a triple super. And now Piccolo is no longer a threat to anyone because he's sealed and he's also debuffed. So as long as we get rid of Kid Gohan, we're pretty much good to go. And now this incredible run, 5.1 for the Androids, by the way. Uh, they decided to go completely crazy on Kid Gohan. So we actually have one super attack. So now we raise our defense, but also lower attack. We actually get additional super attack again. All right, so we'll keep blowing the attack here for Kid Gohan. And we get a third super attack. This was really nice to see as a showcase. So, again, the Flippy Androids are insane. So, even if we eat, do eat a super attack, I don't think we're going to die just because we did raise our defense. But, uh, yeah, now we're taking double digits. And pretty much everyone here is, I mean, you know, pretty much easy work at this point. Because now we're also getting the double support from the LR Tape and Monosha. So as long as we get rid of Kid Gohan, the run is done here. So uh, make sure I target all the attacks here for Gohan. And pretty much we take care of a business here because Piccolo, again, is no longer a threat since we triple debuffed him, right? So there goes Tapion Monosha. I mean, Eze Tapion, who's a god, 2.1 with a beautiful crit. And now we just take care of Piccolo with type advantage. And that's pretty much all she wrote here, right? So again, the androids are pretty broken. Tapion Monosha are also really good. As long as you get them on the same rotation with Tapion, you'll be fine here. So, I'm probably going to probably do another run here, no item runs without the androids, just to showcase that it could be done. Um, because I know a lot of global players probably did not summon for them. Um, and you want to save your stones for, of course, the androids, right? So, uh, there we go. That is a run. Also, again, our HP is, like, through the roof. And on top of that, if Pickle decides to super attack, we're going to nullify it. So... That is a run, and your boy is still the king on global. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button, sub for more videos coming down below. Let me know what you guys uh, use here as a team build to actually get this done. Did you find it easy? Did you not find it easy? And also at the end of the video, we are going to do, of course, here the um, showcase of the units here, their links, and their potential system. All right, so I'll say thank you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!